Hey guys, we're back with another video. Today we got Chipotle for dinner and we're trying their new chicken. So just stay tuned while we eat our dinner. And yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we got vinaigrette. We got some shells on the side. I don't know, it's only yours or mine. So we both got a bowl with the new chicken. It's called El Pastor Chicken. El Pastor. So yeah. I got white rice in mine with cheese and fajita peppers. And chicken. Mm. I normally put the hot sauce in it too, but I think this is gonna be spicy. Oh yeah, because you got peppers. No, because I think the new chicken oh, is gonna chicken, be spicy. Yeah, chicken might be right. When I was there, this dude was asking about it, and they told him that it was it got a little spice to it. So I'm gonna take my first bite. Let's see what it's hitting for. Is this chicken or steak? No, that's steak. It's good. He got half chicken and half steak. Mm -hmm. With some sour cream, white rice. I got white rice too. I don't know if you knew that. Chicken this is chicken bad. is really good. It's got like a sweet taste with like a um, after spice. It's light. It's not even really spicy though. Oh, yeah, so I'm going to try it with a taco shell, too, to see how it tastes on a taco. Total for two bowls, it came to $21.55. That's not bad. Yeah. That's it. They strap you out. Here, you want to get your lid to put some shells on it? Yeah, pass it out. Oh, I can't wait to eat. I've been starving all day. Fun fact, I used to work at Chipotle. She loved it. She for a really it. long time. Probably way too long. She messes it. I don't. I'm not gonna lie to you. He misses it because he missed getting those discounts. All right, I knew I had to wait in line back in the day. I could just go in there, walk straight to the front, get my stuff, walk out, free food. Get a free little drink. Mm -hmm. Those are the days for me. So I'm about to try it now with the show. I'm about to do the same thing. I really like the chicken. Mm. Like, to be honest, guys, mm. the only reason I wanted Chipotle was because of this new chicken. I don't really like Chipotle that much. I love it. It's the best. Don't let us know what she's doing. I'm like really weird about like my chicken. Like I like it cut really small, well done. Sometimes Chipotle just has, I don't know. It depends who's cooking, I guess. But I don't really like Chipotle. I prefer like El Diablo or Moe's because they have the Chipotle ranch. No. Yes. The Chipotle Ranch hits the spot every time. Especially, especially now that I get this vinaigrette too. I like the Chipotle Ranch, but that's too hot. Mm mm. Mm. I like the Chipotle Ranch. It tastes good on a taco shell too. I think I like it better than on a bowl. I feel like you can get the taste more in the bowl with just the rice and stuff. It's good though. Nothing to knock a blue. Where they're doing slap. I don't know who cut this pepper though. They got a whole thing. What is that? I don't even want to eat it. It's big. Overall, 
I would give it the chicken by itself. This whole meal. Oh, the whole meal. I would give it like a nine out of ten. I would too. You're talking about. Mhm. Mm and the chicken by itself. The nine chicken by itself, I would say probably nine, nine and a half out of ten. Mm-hmm. I definitely think Chipotle should keep it around. But I not. hate when they get the, like, good meats, and then, like, they're seasonal, and then you don't get them. I remember back in the day they had that brisket. That was something else. That was good, too, but it had, like, a lot of fat, and I don't really like fat. Love fat. Give me all that chewy goodness. Mm -mm. I'm good. So what do you rate it? <laughs> Same. Okay. No, I miss. It is good though. Like I really do like the flavor. Wait, no other style. Mo's got bowls. Yeah. I've never gotten a bowl from Mo's, John. They need that. They need that. Okay. Bowl. I definitely recommend it, though. Like, if you guys are around a Chipotle, or, like, you've never been to Chipotle, or you don't know what to get, try this while it's there. Yeah, it's they good. got it. Mm -hmm. You ain't put no vinegar right now. I put vinaigrette on my taco, I'm pretty sure. Mm. I use my whole junk. I'm about to put some more in there. Put the rest in there. Mm. Mm. We leave for our cruise this week this friday Four more days. we're flying to fort lauderdale mm -hmm. right yeah i'm pretty sure not my head. no we're flying to fort lauderdale mm -hmm. staying in fort lauderdale area then we're driving to Miami. then we're going to miami getting dropped off at miami i'll walk on the boat and then our vacation really begins no, it's on the boat Hell, like sweet life. And we normally fly out of Philadelphia, but this time we're flying out of Baltimore, so that's going to be a change. I wonder what their airport looks like. A whole lot of changes. Now we usually fly into Orlando, so yep. it's going to also be different. After I eat, I gotta do my last minute packing. Facts. Mostly it's just my carry on. I gotta like reorganize that. Same. That's Wednesday, I'm going to the nail salon, getting my nails done, getting a pedicure, getting my eyebrows waxed. What? You know, you know how this show? I am. Keyshawn's coming with me too to the nail salon. He's gonna get a pedicure. Yeah, I got my toes did because they're about to be out here overseas. I'm about to have my feet out all day. <laughs> Boy. Gotta have a good representation of my toes. All right, Kim. Okay. So tell them what you get on your normal bowl. I usually get brown rice. Sometimes I switch it up and get white. It depends on how I'm feeling. I get steak or a double steak so that don't slap. What else? Black beans, I already said. 
I don't, I don't think, think so. Though. Black beans, sour cream, <clears throat> cheese. Excuse you. Excuse me. And I get little shells. Man, she got over there. I'm like, what I just ate. And usually, back in back in the day when she used to work there, I usually get like six of them joints. Nah, I can't do that. <laughs> I mean, you can. They probably will charge you. No, nobody got time for that. I ain't rich. So, I just get like four of them joints and call it a day. And get this vinaigrette now. I just started getting this. Just all good. The vinaigrette is so fattening. I can't use the whole thing. When I used to work there, people used to ask for like six vinaigrettes for two bowls. I'm like, damn, like, you guys want soup? Alright, that's OD. That's doing too much. No, like, I'm not even lying. I would be like, what do you want all of this vinaigrette for? I can't even finish one for my one bowl. Like, yeah, that's, that's really soup. It's good, but not that good. I don't good. want my food and rice to be floating and stuff. I need to coat my food with it. Mix it in. I don't need to use hot sauce no more. No? No. Nah. How come? I use a vinaigrette. Yeah, but that... It's totally different than hot sauce. I know, but I don't know. I don't, I don't need it no more. I got a vinaigrette. I'm so excited, though, for this cruise. Like, I just love vacationing. I love the smell of the airport. Mm. I like the look of it, the feel. I hope I love the smell of this ocean. Oh my lord. I'm nervous, but I'm not thinking too much about it. I'm trying not to, but I think about it every day. <laughs> what, that we're going to be in the middle of the ocean? Just the whole thing. This is my bowl, everyone. This is what it usually looks like when I go to Chipotle. I wish we still had some rice from hibachi. That was good. That? No, hibachi. hibachi. Well, hibachi was good. I would rather get hibachi than this. Yeah. You would? Yeah. Hibachi is the best, but Chipotle is good. Don't get it twisted. But this hibachi is like way up here. I still think El Diablo is better. Or Moe's. No. Yes. It is. No. Mm -hmm. I wish I got more. I'm hungry still. Like, I ain't hungry, but, like, I could eat. You should have got double. Double what? Meat. Oh. Uh, it's so good. That's crazy. Let me know down below what you think is better, Chipotle, Moe's, or El Diablo. Chipotle. What's that other one? Cadoba. Trash. I only even... I only had there a couple times. Trash. Moe's. Most it depends on the day. But I like how they have seasoned rice with like no cilantro in it. I like El Diablo's meats and stuff better than Moe's. Moe's queso is better than theirs. And mm. their uh Moe's got good queso. Their Chipotle ranch is better than El Diablo. El Diablo. Yeah. But other than that, I think other than that, like I like El Diablo better. There's another one called Tierra Mexicali. We ate there one time. Oh, yeah, that was good. I like that. It was stuff. all right. I don't remember what their meat and stuff tastes like. So I didn't probably, like that sauce you know, that they put on it. Random. It was not the Chipotle Ranch. Random. But you know what else is really good? Starbucks. Starbucks is good. It hits different when you're in <laughs> Disney World. I don't know why. Like a nice, cold... Ice cold caramel macchiato from Starbucks when you're in Disney World in the morning. Start your day off right. I can't wait. I can't wait to be in Hollywood and get me a cold foam. Mmm. Get a cold foam because at the end of the day, I could just have some water and some Olaf's. Call it a day. What? Olaf's. What's that have to do with Starbucks? 
I'm saying. I can get a coffee. I ain't getting Starbucks twice in one day. Not at Disney World. It's already expensive as it is. And Starbucks is expensive. So then I just get like a water and an Olaf to refresh to replenish myself. And then I'll be alright. But I need me a need me a Fenty. That's what we get, Fenty. Mm -hmm. Fenty. Mm, or a Grande. Or a Grande. Which one bigger? Fenty. Fenty. Ice caramel. We've been getting lattes lately, though. Lottie. With the cold foam. With the extra caramel drizzle. That would change your life. What was that seasonal thing we were getting? I don't even remember. Oh, it was the um, caramel brulee. Yeah, and I had cold foam, okay. right? Ended up getting cold foam along the way, somehow, some way. And now I need it. Whipped cream is good, but I need a new cold foam. But... All right, well, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Again, go get the El Pastor chicken from Chipotle. It's really good. And it's seasonal, so get it now while you got yep. it. And don't forget to go like, comment, and subscribe. They even lucky we're doing this because they're not paying us. <laughs> but yeah, so that's what we thought of the chicken. And stay tuned for the next video.